I answer 10 of Google's top bass versus guitar questions, even the stupid ones, to help you figure out which instrument you should play. And no, I'm not biased. All right, question number one. Is bass the same as guitar? This is a bass, this is a guitar. They have a different number of strings, different length, different string thickness, and listen to how different they sound. The bass is much lower sounding. So if you see someone holding one of these and you say, nice guitar, bro, you will be slapped. Nice guitar, Pam. <gasps> Number two, is bass easier than guitar? Frankly, yes, it is easier when you're first getting started as I talk about in my bass myths video, but there are a lot of differences. On guitar, you have to play chords, which is a steeper learning curve than one note at a time, so guitar is harder. But the bass strings are longer and thicker, so they're harder to press down, so bass is harder. But the guitar strings are closer together, so it's harder to be accurate, so guitar is harder. But you have to pluck one string at a time on bass instead of just strumming big open chords, so bass is harder. But guitarists have to learn to solo, so guitar's harder. But you have to have really good rhythm on bass, even as a beginner, so bass is harder. You get the idea. This could go on forever, but really both instruments are difficult to master. So the beginner differences don't really matter that much, unless you're really just trying to get playing as quick as possible. Number three, is bass more expensive than guitar? Let's see. Nope, 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 ah! Number four, should I click like and subscribe to Bass Buzz and ring the bell to get notified when new videos come out? Yep. Okay, real number four, should I learn guitar or bass first? Has anyone ever told you you should learn some guitar before you learn bass? It sounds like it kind of makes sense, right? The only problem is, it's not true at all. That's a lie! Harry Bailey played bass, not guitar! You can start on either instrument. Some basic playing technique will translate if you switch later on, but it's gonna feel different regardless because of the different number of strings, the size, the spacing, and the different musical parts you play. But is there a benefit to starting on bass first? Yeah, it's a little easier at the start, like I said, but also your friends probably need a bassist to play with more than they need yet another guitar player. Hey, I'm here for the jam. Nah, no, not another guitar. Bring a bass next time. Hey, I'm here for the jam. Come on in. Awesome, dude. Bass player. Number five, can guitarists play bass? Well, the techniques are somewhat similar on both instruments, right? You press the frets over here, you strike the strings over here, but it takes a very different mindset to play bass in a band. Bass is usually about laying down a foundation and creating space for other instruments. Guitar is usually about filling that space up. So when guitar players play bass, they tend to play way too many notes. Okay, okay, I'm mostly teasing. I love you guitar players. And to be fair, bassists can't automatically play guitar either. Okay, E, A, D, G, and then this one's a B? That's weird. Why are there so many strings? What? Number six, can a guitar be used as a bass? Let's see. Yeah, not really. It sounds kind of bassy, but not like a real bass. But if you want to learn bass and all you have is a guitar and you're strapped for cash, yeah, you can start learning on those thickest four strings, but for actual performance, it's not going to cut it. Number seven, do bass players use chords like guitarists? Mostly, no, we pluck single notes compared to guitar players who mostly strum chords. But sometimes, yes, there are bass chords in songs, like School Days by Stanley Clark. My Friend of Misery by Metallica, John the Fisherman by Primus, and I cover some super easy bass chords in my Idiot Proof Chords video if you want to start playing around with that. Number eight, do bass players use capos like guitarists? So guitar players use capos to raise the pitch of their open strings and shorten the fretboard. You'll never see a bassist doing that for normal playing, but it is fun for weird solo playing. Number nine, why is it harder to hear bass than guitar? Hmm, maybe because you're listening through your f***ing phone speaker. But even through proper speakers or headphones, bass is often mixed much quieter in the song than the guitar. 
or even made completely inaudible. <coughs> Justice for all. <coughs> and our ears are more sensitive to the higher notes of the guitar, which are closer to the range of a human voice. So it takes some practice to learn to hear bass well, but here are three quick tips. Tip number one, get started by listening to music with easy to hear, recognizable bass lines. And I made you a Spotify playlist for this very purpose. Just check the link in the description. Tip number two is a mindset tweak. Just know that because bass is so low sounding, it's as much about feeling it as it is about hearing it. And tip three, please listen through some decent headphones or speakers, not your laptop speaker, not your phone speaker, not the crappy earbuds that came with your phone, but any over the ear headphones will work or some decent earbuds like these $10 skull candies or any decent sized speakers. Number 10, the grand finale. Should I play bass or guitar? Well, if you like the idea of soloing, playing chords, strumming along while you sing, could you you might prefer guitar, but you can do all that stuff on bass too. If you wanna be a support player, lock in with the drummer, be part of the rhythm section, bass might be for you, but guitarists can do that too. So what sound speaks to you? What do you tend to notice more when you listen to songs? Are you listening for screaming guitar solos or are you listening for those fat bass lines that get your body moving? And who do you tend to watch the most on stage at a concert? If you're still not sure, just go try both instruments at a music store and see how you feel. And remember the words of the great American sage, Napoleon Dynamite. Pedro, just listen to your heart. That's what I do. Bonus questions. What's the point of bass guitar? Well, that's kind of mean. Are bassists failed guitarists? <sighs> Maybe a little. Are bass guitars boring? 